Five important facts about Shell Helix. One, Shell Helix is the world's first carbon neutral motor oil made from natural gas. Two, Shell Helix protects your engine even in the most extreme temperatures. Three, Shell Helix improves fuel efficiency and helps reduce emissions. Four, it's designed to provide ultimate engine performance without compromise. And five, Shell Helix is the only motor oil used, trusted and recommended by Scuderia Ferrari. And you can use it in your car too. Good evening, gents, and welcome back to the Purple Sector. And we're going to talk about the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Las Vegas, or F1, made history once again. Good evening to my uh, uh, fellow host for tonight. Of course, let's go with the man in the middle, Pinakamalayo, Nasa Australia. Andy, how are you? Up, audio. Sorry about that. Anyway, good evening sa lahat. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever and whenever you are watching this show. Welcome everyone to the Purple Sector. And what a race it was. The first ever Las Vegas Grand Prix. Yeah. We have a lot to unpack. So yeah. let's get right to it. Yep. Miles, welcome back, by the way. <laughs> Okay, good evening guys. Good evening sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa atin in Facebook or in YouTube. Um, it's Tuesday night once again. Uh, it's past 8 o'clock and we're here to talk about the highs and the lows of the Las Vegas <laughs> GP. And before anything else, I would like to nga, welcome to the show and you could comment. In YouTube or in Facebook, if you want to say something, kumeron, if you disagree with us or you need or anything, anyone, anything F1 related, you could type in there. Just we we'll gladly read it on yep. air. Yep. And also, if you have any questions regarding F1 this season, this race, or kahit ano pa man, or F1 in the future, okay. I to gladly, I will gladly, gladly. Happy. Tama ba yun? Gladly na happy. Anyway, yeah. happy kami na sa sasi. <laughs> so, yeah. okay. Nice to be All back right. again, guys. Yep. Welcome let's back. Re- let's start this show. And of course, Mr. Yam Nalisis. Yam boy. Yes. 
Hello, good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition of The Purple Sector. And uh, yun nga. Uh, I hope everybody uh, was able to watch the race because it was 2 p.m. here, Philippine Standard yeah. Times. And masaya. Masaya yung karera, masaya. Uh, kaya very excited to present this tonight. Uh, maraming mga nangyari pero at least uh, Las Vegas proved to be, I think, uh, the most enjoyable race of the season, di ba? Yep. Uh, Rival, you can... <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, before we proceed, yeah. let's don't forget we're giving out Shell Premium items tonight. And aside from that, Yamboy is giving out uh, our official merchandise. Yam, pakita mo nga. There we go. So there we go, the purple Luna. sector uh, trucker cup, and we have this one, Yam analysis. Yep, there you go. So we have trucker cups for you, yes. and this one right here. Yeah, and we have four designs actually. So depende kay Yamboy kung ano siya uh, is gonna be generous enough to give all of those four or whatever we're gonna oh. do about it. Well, uh, of course, of course. <laughs> And aside from that, we're giving out stickers as well. Sorry, I forgot the stickers in the office. So, Yam, do you have the stickers right there? These are car stickers already. Uh, I think they're already, what do you call that? Uh, cut out stickers, right? Tama ba? Di ba nakuha mo na? Yeah, yeah, nakuha na. Limutok sa office. Ah, okay. Sorry. Wala we're giving out. Dito, eh. Pero, okay. Let's... Uh... Show the sticker once yep, again. Yep, there we go. Okay, That's the sticker. Design. Yeah, we're giving yeah. out tonight. Baliktad. Tell the friends. Baliktad. Yeah, baliktad. Baliktad. <laughs> baliktad. Ayun. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. It's an all-weather sticker, I think, Yam. And, yeah, tama ba? All-weather? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, guys, tell your friends about it. And before we we proceed with the Yam analysis tonight, maybe you could share... Any, you know, insights about the Las Vegas Grand Prix? It's the first time this year, yeah, inaugural race for Las Vegas. And I've heard they're going to do seven races yata. So what do you think about it? We'll be happy to hear your, you know, your comments down below. All right. Let's start the ball rolling, young boy, for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Formula One Heineken Silver Las Vegas Grand Prix. So, usually we start off with uh, um, <laughs> qualifying. Qualifying, <laughs> pero may malaki kasing may malaki kasing nangyari sa ano? May malaking disaster na nangyari sa sa free, first practice. Uh, free yeah. practice pa yeah. lang, yeah. Eight minutes into the FP1, Ferrari of Sainz was damaged due to a loose uh, water drain, drain cover. Drain cover, yeah. Uh, the Ferrari suf suffered chassis, engine, and battery damage. So FP1 was cancelled and the truck engineers and the staff repaired the cover. So here you can see, medyo ano pa si Carlos dito? Medyo tuliro pa because talagang naramdaman niya yun between his legs if you know yeah. what I mean parang may naramdaman talaga siyang a very sharp thumb no? uh, ma mahirap yun kasi these are not ordinary cars, these are like jet planes these are parang meron na sila mga pressure sa sa undercarriage nila dito sa floor, laging pinag-uusapan yan because of aerodynamics so Doon nagkaroon ng failure doon sa... Actually, Jong, sinimento pa daw nila eh. Pero nag-fail yung cement that was covering the... the yeah. Ano, uh, yeah, cover. Right. Yeah. Because of the pressure, the immense pressure that these cars bring doon sa kalye. Kaya nga nakadikit sila sa, sa kalye, di ba? Because of that aerodynamics na nilagay nila dyan. So, mapupul talaga yung I think, cover. yes. Uh, the vacuum and ano. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, there you go. Pero kalakas ng vacuum. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, ito, just, ito, ito yung very, sample na. Uh, ano na? Oh, gra grabe talaga yung nangyari na pero. Very, very quickly lang. Uh, this was 
Mm-mm. This isn't the first time na nangyari ito, di ba? First time ito in Las Vegas, but this kind of incident na yung mga manhole, drain cover, mga ganon, it's not the first time na nakita natin na bigla silang lumilipad at nagda-damage ang kotse, di ba? This happened in Baku some years ago, if you if you guys remember. Um, very famous, not famous, infamous incident uh, with George Russell who was um, at the time still driving for Williams. I'm not sure if it's uh, rookie year, but rookie year, but in 2019 or something like that. But yeah, this was, um, this is nothing new to F1, pero it goes to show gaano kalakas yung suction <laughs> kumbaga yeah gaano yeah kalakas yung definitely effect ng aerodynamics um, sa 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 kotse that especially yung design ng mga kotse natin ngayon is more on ground effect na yung ano nila ground effect na yung ginagamit yeah. nila na na concept so gaano kal- kalakas yung suction na take note ha hindi nagfail yung drain cover mismo yung surrounding na semento ang bumigay ganun kalakas. <laughs> the, the cover was intact. Pero yung semento, wasak. Wasak. <laughs> Kaya, yeah. Grabbing repair ang ginawa nila. Mm. So, very, uh, a very, well, not the best start for a, a new track, di ba? FP1 was um, completely scrapped. And FP2 was delayed for ilang, ilang minuto ba yun? Many, several minutes, di ba yan? So, I will um hours, will hours, actually. Yeah. Oh, hours, yun. So, so yeah, um yeah, so thank you for that. Um we'll um let Yam Boy resume. All right, Yam. All right, so because of this, uh FP1 was cancelled, they re- they repaired the drain plugs, and then after that they decided to push with the FP2, however. Pinaalis na nila yung mga spectators from the grandstands. So, no audience for FP2. That's why they have this class suit waiting for them. Uh, kasi yung mga paying customers, they were not able to experience the FP2. They were not able to watch the FP2. Napag-usapan namin ito earlier kanina. Maraming pwedeng reason si... F, uh, si FIA, FIA and yeah. the organizers, yeah, probably because number one for me, I think because of safety reasons, kasi baka may mag-fail na naman na ibang covers and it would, I mean, iniiwasan nila that it would hit uh, a spectator or it will go to the crowd. Number two reason probably is because of labor. Kasi meron silang limit lang dun sa mga staff nila manning the grandstands, manning the gates, manning the ticket booths. So kung they decided to you know, continue with the FP2 with all the spectators, probably they will pay a lot of uh, overtime yeah. fees. And so yun ang, yun ang mga discussions namin earlier. So well, this is just for P1, so let's proceed to the qualifying. Um F uh Q1, we have uh, ito eliminated. Uh, nagtaka ako bakit, pero sayang. Norris was a- wasn't able to get to P- oh, to Q2. Norris, Ocon, Joe. Both McLaren. Oscar Piastri and Yuki Tsunoda. Yeah, yeah, both, both McLaren. Yeah. They were not able to to fi- uh, to survive the for for Q2 na, na run. And then we see here for Q2 naman, dito nagulat ako. Kasi, we see on the top 10, two Williams. Imagine, the two Williams of Albon and Sargent is on the top 10. And without and the seven-time world champion. Oh, <laughs> uh, Lewis Hamilton wasn't able to make it to Q3. Uh, Sergio Perez. Uh, Hulkenberg, Stroll, and Ricardo. Okay, kwento ko lang itong kay Perez. He was about top four before the end of Q2. Uh, the team decided to uh, not to run him uh, again for the last uh, last uh, few minutes of Q2 because uh, sabi nila, konti lang daw yung bit-bit nila na 
soft tires for Checo Perez for qualifying. So, yun. Kaya nangyari, uh, si Perez, he wasn't able to get the best time for himself. Kaya naunahan siya ng dalawang Williams. So, eliminated for Q2, we have Lewis Hamilton, Sergio Perez, Nico Hockenberg, Lance Stroll, and Daniel Ricciardo. Okay, we have Q3. At the end of Q3, Charles Leclerc, pinipilit habuli ni Carlos Sainz, pero you see naman dito, 0.044 seconds. Very, very slim lang sana. Pwede na siyang mag-P1 kasi Carlos... Because of the damage to his car, he penalized. Uh, he replaced a lot of yeah. Parts, he he yeah. replaced a lot of uh, parts sa uh, kotse niya, and he was given a ten grid penalty. So pinipilit niya na mapunta siya sa one para at least hindi masyado siya malayo sa grid. Now speaking of which, guys, do you agree with the decision of FIA to give Carlos Sainz the penalty? The, the, does Carlos deserve the penalty? So, Miles, go Miles. Come on. Okay, well, ito. Um, speaking of um, Carlos Sainz Bruhaha, okay, during the FP1, um, let me also add na um, Ferrari is not giving up on seeking compensation. Kasi Hindi naman talaga, hindi man nila kasalanan na nasira yung kanilang sasakan. It was the fault of an, umbaga, an overlook by the organizers of the LVJP. Di ba? Okay. Speaking of a place grid penalty, para sa akin, it's just, um, it's just fair. Total, um, everything is fair in love and war. Kumbaga, ika nga. Well, Mas damage ang sasakyan mo, gusto mo man o hindi, damage eh. Those are rules. So, those are, rules are placed, di ba? So, um, needs to replace the, the ship, the battery, eh, eh, basta nalitan. So, nagamit na rin ni Carlos Saitz yung kanyang, kumbaga, allotted um, parts for the season. So, need to replace it, kaya sa nagkaroon ng 10 place grid penalty. Bakit, uh, para sa, bakit ko nasabi na okay lang yun? Kasi rules are rules. And if you're going to have, kumbaga, kung pagbigyan mo si Carlos Sainz, nasabi natin, okay, hindi na lang natin sa bigyan ng penalty because of nangyari. It would be a precedent for future things. Yes. Kasi alam naman natin, itong F1 teams lahat, ito mautak. Eh. Hahanap, hanapin nila yung mga... Uh, areas and loopholes in between the lines of very thick na rule book ng FIA. Hanap hanapin nila yan. And because of that precedent, because of that, kumbaga kung papalagpasin nila yung nangyari, Carlos, eh, it will be a precedent for the future, hanapan nila ng loophole, oh, ginawa, ginawa niya yan noon kay Carlos, eh, bakit hindi pwede ngayon? So, um, good job for Carlos Sainz for doing P2, for placing second on qualifying with just like four four hundredths of a second ang difference niya with Charles. Diba? At least, you know, good, good for Sainz. And before I continue, um, I would also like to acknowledge our sponsors who have been with us, yeah. Shell Helix and Shell Power. <laughs> Total, pinag-uusapan natin si Carlos Sainz. Salamat sa Shell Helix and Shell Power. <laughs> Oi, segue ba? Oh. Andy, <laughs> ikaw di. What do you think? Andy, ikaw. What do yes, you think? Yes, um, thank you guys. Um, yeah, in in my opinion, obvious, it wasn't enough. Yung uh, reasoning ng reasoning ng FIA for the penalty. Um, first off, like like um we mentioned earlier, this was basically this was nobody's fault. Um, di natin masabi na kasalanan ng Ferrari, kasalanan ng and FIA in particular, this was nobody's fault, diba? So why would why would signs have to endure a penalty? Um walang, walang may kasalanan, diba? This was um the keyword here is force major. <laughs> yan, yan ang keyword na uh, iniisip ko at, at this moment, no? So it was force major. It was 
something na beyond anybody's control. It was not preventable by um, anyone kasi walang walang nakakita na ganun yung mangyayari, walang nakapredict na ganun ang mangyayari. But yeah, and um, to be fair to the FIA, they did try. Tinina, ginawa nila um sinubukan nila gawa na paraan na tulungan si Sainz. Sinubukan ng mga stewards in particular na tingnan ang rule book, tingnan ang ang yeah, ang rule book ng, ng, ng Formula 1. Um, para let's say malesan nila or at least ma, ma, yun, malesan ang penalty kay Sainz um, but unfortunately according to them wala silang magawa so um, credit where credit is due the, the stewards and FIA in, in, as a whole they did try to help pero talagang walang, wala silang magawa they could not bend the rules to that degree yun, yun ang parang word sinabi nila they could not bend the rules to that degree na ma- malesan or mawalan ng penalty sa sites. Which is unfortunate. Pero still, in my opinion, that's, that wasn't... Um, it's not good enough na, na dahilan. It's not good enough to say na, na, yun nga, na ginawa namin lang, gina- um, sinubukan namin, hanapan ang paraan. Um, but, but then again, yeah, tama si Miles. He brought up a very good point na this might set a precedent for the future. Um, baka, baka may exploit ito ng ibang team so um, I actually have not considered that that um, point no? so thank you Miles pero yun nga um, I guess yun nga um, uh, I guess nadala rin ako sa, sa emotion ko kasi um, nakita natin gaano ka gaano ka ganda sa yung potential na performance ng Ferrari di ba? both Ferraris oh, both, both, yeah, both Ferraris, Ferraris. Ferraris. Okay. Ang ganda sana kung walang penalty sa sides. Ferrari 1-2 ang, ang Definitely. Ang Definitely. That would have been such a headache for Red Bull and the rest yeah. of the team of the um, teams, di ba? But this is where we are and that's um it is it is what it is. Um So yeah, um sayang. Yun nga. Bottom line sayang. It was yeah. a wasted opportunity. Wala wala tayong magawa niyan. But uh, it, um ang ano na lang, the saving grace na lang was the rest of the weekend went really well, especially the race, which we will get to very shortly. Yeah. For me, naman, uh, I think... Jong. Uh, yeah. Sandal lang muna. Go. Si, narinig ko yung balita na binigyan... Carlos Sainz was given a $200 voucher also. <laughs> <laughs> He was given a $200 voucher by the FIA. <laughs> yeah, we'll damage the team. Oh. I think he will need more than $200. Uh, ang kapalit uh, nun, hindi siya kasali sa Lusot. Hindi siya kasali sa Lusot. Ay, doko. Sa ating ko lang, sa ating ko lang, kulang yung $200 na voucher. Hindi, yun lang daw, yun lang daw kaya, yun lang kaya ng ano. Yeah, speaking so, of fans na kanilang, kanilang bayaran. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of compensation, speaking of $200, I think it's the FIA's fault for not checking the race track. I think for me because me as a race organizer, I have to walk through the race track to make sure everything is okay, walang walang uh, walang debris or walang mga pako or something that might, you know, uh, puncture the tires and everything. That's my job as a race organizer. So I walk down the racetrack, I check on it. So compensation-wise, I think FIA should pay Ferrari for the damages. Diba? But for the rules-wise, walang magawa. Yes, tama yun. It's gonna, it's gonna come back in the future where, oi, teka, ginawa mo to nung Las Vegas Grand Prix kay Science paano to ngayon diba so there is a precedent there is a ano na mangyayari ulit so tama yung sinabi ni Miles na we they cannot you know bend some rules because of this but i guess the there's a uh, lawsuit no uh, Ferrari is planning to do a lawsuit to FIA to, to to charge them with the damages of the car i think that's the uh, no so i guess that's my point that's my point yam 
Okay. So, <laughs> well, for me, uh, they changed the rules kasi after the 2021 incident of uh, Masi. Kasi doon sa rule book na yon may nakalagay pa na pwedeng maano ng race director, he can do a decision na pwedeng hindi uh, pwedeng ma-change niya yung rule uh, depende sa case doon sa race. So tinanggal kasi nila yon kaya talagang walang magawa ang stewards. So yun, actually rules are rules talaga. Yeah, yeah. Walang nakalagay sa rule book, uh, wala tayong magawa. Yun talaga nangyari. Yeah. Too bad for Carlos Sainz pero I hope I hope for compensation and service recovery uh, FIA would pay uh, Ferrari because it was not the team's fault, it was not Correct. the car's fault, it was the driver's fault. It was force major. Um, so yun, kawawa naman. Pero anyway, at least he he gave a good show then. So Oh yes, definitely. Uh, Ferrari did a good show, yeah. yeah. Yeah, kasi kung kasi kung hindi na damage si Carlos Sainz and they they finished higher than the two the two Mercedes. Ano na sila eh? Uh, second sa so constructors. Yeah. Did you imagine that? Correct, so, correct. Ito. Yeah. Let's go to Nakunahan the... Nakunahan na sana nila si yeah. Mercedes. Let's go to the comments. Yeah. Carl Conrad, that's not Carlos Sainz's fault or the Ferrari's team fault. Uh, sadyang may call <laughs> talaga sa si FOA Stewart. Yeah? Uh, more or less. Uh, Eric Nolasco, ayaw nila ICC sa Las Vegas Organizer para hindi mapahiya. First time in 40 years. Dapat perfect. Uh, basically, it's the FIA's responsibility to check the safety of the racetrack. Kaya nga, Federation of International, sila yung governing body and sanctioning body to ensure the safety of everything. So, aside from safety and the rules and etc. etc. So, sila magsasabi sa organizer. Sabihan nilang organizer. Although, the organizer is Liberty... Tama ba? Liberty Media. Am I right? Liberty Media. Uh, is Liberty Media. But still, there is a body that that officiates the whole race. Aside from officiating, it's the one also checking the racetrack for safety. So, it's FIA's fault. Definitely. Sir Joe, mag-apply din kayo sa FIA. <laughs> Sana. Sana. <laughs> uh, uh, ito, ito, Carl. Uh, FIA wants to build a circus in Las Vegas. Yes. If you went to Las Vegas, it's indeed a circus. Even though it's not, there's no F1 there, it is already a circus. <laughs> Marami Tama nagsabi. Ka. Ah. It's a circus talaga. Tama si Carl. Ah, gaya na sinabi ni Max Verstappen, di ba? 99% show. 1%, 1 sport. Sport, di ba? Yeah. Tama siya. But, Tama talaga. It, but, yeah, they, it, they made it as a, as a show talaga. Yeah, it is a show. It is really a show. For me, ah, it is a sport, but it is also a show. Di ba? I mean, it's uh, the reason why they invaded uh, the US, ano, the, the, the American audience because they wanted it to be more viable when it comes to a business as a show. It's already right. uh, proven as a racing spectacle. Now we're gonna do it as a show. Oh, wow. So it's, alam mo ba yung sabi nila, how many fans are there? 500 million, uh, 500 million fans ang F1 around the world because of Netflix, tama ba? That's what I've heard. Mm. Dumami talaga. Dahil Dumami sa talaga. So yun. Mm. Yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, boy. So, here's the results for the top 10 for the um, uh, qualifying. Uh, we have Charles Leclerc, Carlos Sainz, Max Verstappen, George Russell, Pierre Gasly, Alexander Albon, Logan Sargent, Valtteri Bottas, Kevin Magnussen, Fernando Alonso. Now, since Carlos Sainz was given a 10 grid penalty, so sila Max Verstappen second, so na 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 ano sila na na upgrade yung kanila mga uh, grid uh, positions uh, on the race. Makikita natin mamaya. Now let's go to the race. We see here lights out and away they go. We see a very good start from um, 
Charles de Klerk, and then si Max naghabol. After that, here, after the um, approaching approaching sila ng turn one, nauna pa yung ilong ni, ni Charles Leclerc. And then after that, Max Verstappen pushed Charles Leclerc out of the racetrack. That's why si Max Verstappen was given a five-second penalty. Dito nakita natin, ang bagal nila dito sa turn one na ito because of no grip. Walang grip talaga. Yeah. Kaya, kaya itong dalawa, they went off the road. Now, buti na lang si George Russell for the first time in his career, hindi buwakaw dito. <laughs> Kasi kung buwakaw-bukawan si, uh, si, si George Russell dito, malamang malaking aksidente pagdating dito sa point na ito. Kasi dito, free na siya. Pero, I don't know what happened, pero si George, he anticipated that Max Verstappen papasok dito. Kaya nakita natin hindi siya bumuelo. Now, pagdating naman dito, may fiasco na nangyari. Kasi itong si Mano Alonso dito, uh, from, okay, from here, dito siya. So, ang pasok niya dito is dito sa inner. Pagdating niya dito na nawalan siya ng grip, kaya nag-spin yung kotse niya and it caused a lot of damage for some drivers. We have Valtteri Bottas. Valtteri Bottas yung ano. Valtteri Bottas uh, was, uh, anong tawag nito? Uh, was hit by uh, Perez sa rear and then Valtteri Bottas was hit by uh, the Aston Martin of Manong Alonso dito. Tapos tinamaan pa niya konti itong uh, kotse ni... I think that's Alpine, right? Hindi Alpine ito. Uh, this is... Um, Williams, Williams. Williams. Williams, yeah. The Williams yeah. of Alex Albon. And then pagdating dito, nag-spin si Carlos Sainz kasi tumama siya dito kay uh, Lewis Hamilton. And Lewis Hamilton nagkaroon ng konting contact din dito kay uh, Nico Hulkenberg. So, yan yung mga nangyari. Kaya, after after this fiasco right here, ang daming mga debris. So, they called on the the yellow flag and the virtual safety car. So, because nagkaroon ng virtual safety car, at least uh, yung mga may damage, they were able to replace the parts like... Um, Sergio Perez, yung front wing niya na, na damage o so napalitan din yun. And then after that, we can see here, Max Verstappen is leading the race. Dito, and then instead of giving back the position to Charles Leclerc, he opted to take that five-second penalty. And then after this, nagkaroon ng disgrasya naman itong si... Bigla na lang siyang umikot. Nagkaroon ng disgrasya itong si Lando Norris. Uh, dito sa turn na ito so opposite na yung kotse niya and tuloy-tuloy na siya doon sa wall too bad for uh, Lan uh, Lando Norris buti na lang when the race progresses yung kanyang teammate si Wonderboy Oscar Piastri Wonderboy nga was able to, yeah, uh, Wonder Boy was, was able to attack a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of cars Pero I will discuss later kung bakit unfortunate din yun. Oh, yes. <laughs> like this one. Okay. After the yellow flag, um, yung first yellow, uh, uh, after the safety car pala. Kasi nangyari yun kay Lando Norris, nagkaroon ng safety car. So, nagkaroon ng free pit stop itong ibang mga, mga drivers. And then after that, yung restart na we can see here Oscar Piastri from parang number 10 na siya because of the safety car number 10 nakuha niya si Hulkenberg dito then after this he was able to take the Logan Sargent dito and then after Logan Sargent na nakuha niya uh, sana ba siya Piastri nakuha din niya si Lewis Hamilton imagine and then after this, this is the battle between uh, oh, between Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen because Max Verstappen was suffering from degradation sa tire niya kasi he, was, he started with medium 
kaya naunahan siya ni Charles Leclerc. Yan. Ito yung unang overtake. Ito yung unang fun ng karera. Ay, yeah. salamat sa wakas. Uh, Hindi na si Masa. Naunahan na. natin si World Champion. <laughs> Uy, maganda na ito. Okay ito. Yun na yung na-feel ko nun eh. And then, after this, nagkaroon pa ng contact si Oscar Piastri and si Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton. Nagkaroon ng puncture. Yeah, yeah. yeah nagkaroon ng puncture itong yeah, yeah. dalawang kotse na ito. Kasi talagang, Pinili talaga ni Oscar Piastri na mapunta sa points eh. Kasi alam niya, hindi na, hindi na makakasali sa karera. Lando Norris was, actually he was brought to the hospital na for checking because malaki talaga yung, malakas talaga yung impact. So, nasira na yung kotse niya. So, he was parang pag-asa siya ng McLaren na at least magka-points dito sa Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. So, we can, we can see here, a lot of sparks coming out of uh, Piastri's car because nga, uh, punctured yung isang tire niya, kaya bumaba yung kotse niya, kaya nag-skid na lang siya dito. And another another impact uh, between George Russell and Max Verstappen, you can see here a lot of debris all around. Tinawag na naman ang uh, second safety car to clean up this mess. Now, thankfully, Max Verstappen's swing was damaged, pero the performance, walang... Walang changes. Walang yeah. nagpago sa performance. Actually, nag-improve pa nga eh. Kasi, yung unang takbo niya, he was doing, uh, siguro, mga two-tenths less than nung nasira na yung kanyang, <laughs> kanyang wing. Kaya, yeah. okay. Kaya nakita natin na biglang his car was alive, no? And then because of this mess, uh, George Russell was given a five-second penalty. Now, because of this safety car dito na tinawag nila, Perez was able to pit, uh, Max Verstappen was able to pit, and a lot of a lot of drivers were able to pit, except for the front line runner of Ferrari, which is Charles Leclerc. Hindi nila pinit si Charles Kaya sayang, if, if binigyan lang nila ng opportunity sana si Charles na mag for a new set of hard tires, probably first siya dito. Kasi Saka, if, sige, if you go, finish go. The, mm. the show, if you finish the show, yung nasa loob sila ng kotse, he was asking both Red Bull drivers, did you... Did you enter the pits during the second safety car? Sabi nung dalawa, yes. Siya hindi. Talagang, um, inano nyo talaga yung paa niya, parang sayang, sana nag-pit ako. Sayang. It, dito yung nangyari. Yeah. I Isa think, na naman na yeah. parang ni, ni Ferrari. I think this is the, ano, Ikaw, this is the, the, the turning point of the race for Charles. If hindi itong nagbanggaan si... Max tsaka si George Russell, um, I think there's a chance that Charles would win the race. Kasi yeah, kung, because kung of hindi sila nagbanggaan, walang safety car. Walang, okay, walang safety car, walang nag-change ng gulong na not in a usual manner, di ba? Kasi may safety car. So, tas hindi pa talaga sila nag-pit. So, I think this is the, the, the thing that uh, cost him the race. Mm-hmm. Would you agree, guys? Sa tingin ko, ito eh. Ikaw, Mels. Yes, yes. Yes, I agree. Kasi, kung titingan nyo yung performance ni Charles during the Las Vegas Grand Prix, maganda ang kanyang... He's the faster between the two Ferrari boys, di ba? Good tire management from him. Napatagal niya ng... Napa... Na-maximize niya na utilize niya na mabuti ang kanyang mediums. So, he did the length. Diba? At maganda, maganda performance niya. Kung hindi lang dito sa yun nga, I agree with you sa pit stop ano, ba't pit nila stop. hindi pinakas? Yeah, you correct, know? correct. Kung hindi, ano, he could, he could have gotten, he could have placed, uh, he could have won. Yes, Las Vegas, definitely. Yeah. He has a chance to win Definitely. It. Yeah. Uh, Nahirapan yung dalawang Red Bull sa yes, kanya. Yes, eh. correct, correct. Oh. Nahirapan talaga. <clears throat> yeah. 
Kaya sayang, sayang na naman na uh, opportunity for Charles. Maganda sana yun kung nanalo siya. Kasi it was it was a Monaco day eh. Monaco day itong time na ito. Yes. So sana sana yeah. maganda yung ano, yung mabigay niya sa sa Monaco. Anyway, uh, ano yung mga uh, There's a question ito? here from Carl. What is the difference of nang nag went wide and pushing or forcing another driver on the track? So, Carl, uh, went wide, definitely, wala kang, kumbaga, ikaw lang yung nag-went wide. No? Sa racing line, John. Yeah. Outside of the racing line, you went wide. No, you went wide. Na wala kang driver na, na nakasabay dun sa corner na yun, nakatabi. Pushing another car, which is, alam mo nandun siya, you just pushed him and get the, the exit point of the racing line which is you know yun. so went wide without a car without another car and forcing another driver on the track definitely there's a driver beside him na ina, na in out niya sa track so that's the difference tama naman di ba <laughs> yeah yeah ito na, ito na lang jong um pushing or forcing another driver on the track charles and max on lap one yeah, this the one. Um, I think this went the one. wide. Oh yeah, went wide. Lando Norris. He, <laughs> he really went wide. Yeah, I yeah, tama, wide. tama, tama. Yes. Went wide <clears throat> and went wild. Yeah, yun. Also, <laughs> and wild char. Uh, he hit something. That's why. Anyway. Sorry, sorry, man. Mama ya, mama ya. May makita kayo na went wild, went wide, mama ya. Mama ya, may makita. Aldi, go. And the area. Yeah, a better I think a better example no na pushing of course yung tama yung sinabi niyo na pushing another driver off the track was Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc. Yes. Lap 1. Classic example yun. So na penalize si si Verstappen 5 seconds. Tama yun. Going wide medyo masakit ito kay Carl in particular pero going wide ang example nito was Charles Leclerc lap 44. Later Lap 44 yeah, I, na nakuha siya ni this... Sergio Perez. Tama? Uh, nakuha siya uh, ni yun, yeah. yun, na, oh, so, yeah. yun, yun ang talagang went wide. He outbreak himself <laughs> and he went wide. Masakit if you're a tifosi. Pakita natin. We know Carl is, <laughs> pero yun ang example. Yeah. Ano to? Advanced congratulations to Carlos Sainz for winning. Ano ba to, Carlos? Sprint Qatar. We're taking Perez last oh, lap. Then, manifesting na. Yeah. For next year. Oh, next year na yata ito. <laughs> Alright, Yam. Carl, Carl okay. whatever you're having right now, bawas-bawas ka mo lang ng konti. Baka... <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is another this is another angle dun sa contact between Max Verstappen and George Russell. And then after this, oh, okay, ito na yung restart after the safety car. Um, during this time, the five-second penalty was announced for George Russell. So, okay, eto na. Nakita natin si Wonderboy nasa P4 na. Tapos makukuha pa niya si Gasly dito. So, yun, eh, sabi ko, okay. At least meron tayong mataas for, mataas na puntos for McLaren. And then after this, uh, eto, this was what I was saying earlier. Nakuha ni Oscar Piasti si Gasly dito na turn. And then after this, nakuha din ni Sergio Perez. For the first time, he was able to overtake Charles Leclerc. And then, after this overtake, nakuha na naman ulit ni Charles Leclerc from uh, uh, Perez yung lead. And then we can see here lurking behind, the, behind these cars, Si Max Verstappen. So after this one, Max was able to overtake Perez. And nung nauna na siya, sabi niya, sabi, yung nauna na si Max, sabi niya, let's work together, we can get him. Yun ang sabi niya. So it was the first time that we heard Max oh, yes. as a Tama. team player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a team player during, this, ano, during this event. Yeah, surprisingly, di ba? Sabi niya, uh -huh. okay, we can work together, let's get him. Ay, uh, we can work together, we can get him. Yun ang sabi niya. So, nagpalit na ng pwesto dito itong dalawang Red Bull. 
and Max was on his way to attack Charles Leclerc. So dito na nga, uh, he was able to overtake Charles Leclerc and then after this, may nilaro sila ng konti. Kaya nagkaroon ng pinahirapan pa ni Charles si, si Sergio Perez eh. Pero dito na yung lalabas yung tanong ni Carl kanina Leclerc. na Charles Leclerc went wild went wide on lap 44. That's why walang kahirap-hirap na nakuha ni um, Sergio Perez ang P2. However, may problema dun sa setup ng wing ni Perez. Kaya hirap na hirap siya na alam mo yun, makunahan niya ng magandang oras si Charles Leclerc. Kasi Considering na nangyari ito kay Charles Leclerc pero hindi pa din lumabas sa DRS range si Charles Leclerc sa kotse ni Car uh, Sergio Perez. Yeah. Kaya yun, eventually, Sergio Perez was able to once again gain another uh, overtake. Nakuha na naman niya si Sergio Perez dito. And previously, we can see here a good run of Oscar Piastri. However, since Oscar Piastri uh, pitted twice, but he used the same tire, hindi daw pwede sa rule yun. Kaya pumasok siya ulit sa pit to change into mediums para ibang, ibang type of uh, tire compound. Kaya sayang yung takbo niya. Fourth na sana siya. So, sa last, sa ultimate lap, he's already on the 10th position. So, sayang for Oscar. Pero sayang. anyway, nagkapuntos pa siya dito. And hmm. Oscar Piastri, uh, from all the drivers, Oscar Piastri was the overtaking machine. Hindi lang masyado nakita sa camera, pero ang dami niyang, ang dami niya talagang nakuha sa overtaking. Magaling talagang bata ito. Ito yung rookie of the year talaga na deserving. So this is a closer look of Charles Leclerc's attack kay Sergio Perez. And then ito, uh, sa turn nakita natin si uh, Charles nauna na kay, kay Perez. And then after that, they took the checkered flag Max Verstappen, Charles Leclerc, and Sergio Perez. So, this was fun. This was, I mean, this was the, ano, the most enjoyable part of the race. Kasi, usually, itong mga ganito, nakikita natin sa midfield, di ba? Yung very close ang bakpaka ng mga kotse, pero uh, at least for the first time in this season, actually, second time, for the second time this season, first yung nangyari sa Interlagos with Manong Alonso and Sergio Perez. And then, dito na naman, uh, between Charles Leclerc and Sergio Perez na naman. So, yun. At least Perez had a podium. Uh, one, three, four. The Red Bulls and yeah. second. P2 for Charles Leclerc. Congratulations to all. Hi, Shaira, Janina. Ang yun, popular taka. opinion. Sangdale. Ang popular opinion, Ocon is really a good racer, medyo lack of consistency, but really like the guy on the track, pag naka-race mode, yeah, he will really deliver. At it's your problem lang talaga. Yeah, Esteban <laughs> Ocon. Oh, oh, yeah, tama, 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 tama si Sarira, Joe. Joe, um, yeah. si, si Teban at si Lance, ang marami silang nag-gain na positions during the Las Vegas Grand Prix. I may not have the numbers, but they started at the end, at the back of the grid, and they finished mataas, di ba? Yeah. Lance Stroll finished, I don't know where, and Teban, hindi ko nakabisado. But yeah, I agree with Shaira, Teban is really good. And, Jong, let me, let me add, ano lang na konti, um, regarding Sergio Perez and his last lap, performances for the past two races. Well, you could see um, Sergio Perez, nakita natin ulit kung bakit siya why he deserves a Red Bull seat. Diba? Kung bakit siya nilagay sa Red Bull seat. Magaling siya mag-drive. 
meron lang siyang problema ngayon which is how to do a last lap defense. Diba? Nangyari, <laughs> nangyari na kay, kay Manong Fernando at ngayon nangyari kay Charles. Diba? For two consecutive races. So, yun na nga. Well, well, good. Good for, se- good for Checo, my boy, ni Yam Boy. I guess he will be driving a Red Bull next year. Definitely. <laughs> Uh, pusta ko pa aking ano pusta ko pa ang sweat. <laughs> anyway, no, not, not like that. Yeah. Pero and and definitely. Yeah, teka. Ano, kawawa lang uh, Jens ka din diyan sa quad napping si Checo, maybe baka may nagsenya sa kanya sa pitwall nagpakita ng botelya ng tequila na sinabihan na okay, ito muna tayo sa hospital. <laughs> yeah. Hindi nga siya. Jim Belvis, Checo has a high downforce on his car, yeah, slow in the straight line. Aside from that, I think, uh, parang sinabi yata niya doon sa ano na he is a sitting duck from ano from the attack of Charles. So yun. Uh, so yeah, just a little okay. bit more on that, no? Yeah, um, D, just go, a little D. bit more on, on that last overtake ni Charles, no? Na ano? Kasi ang plano nila, ang plano ng Red Bull was gagayain nila yung ginawa ni you remember yung one and only win ni Carlos Sainz this year? Diba? Ah, yeah. He kept Lando Norris in his DRS. Singapore. Diba? Uh, so yung para uh, so in a way, tinutulong, tinulungan niya si Lando to keep, um, to, to keep the others away. Diba? Parang ganun. Ginaya niyo ng Red Bull. Ang problema is, Checo, na, naunahan siya ni Shal. He was not able to maintain the distance, the gap between himself and Charlie P3 kaya na na naunahan siya yeah, sa, sa DRS maganda sana ko na maintain lang yung distance pero the plan backfired big time so kaya naunahan siya sayang pero the, the plan was there the, the execution could have been better yun lang yeah. <laughs> the, I, know, I already know the reason why hmm. kasi hindi nakatanggap ng memo si Checo na kasi parang bigla parang nabigla siya kay Max Verstappen uy Max here wow let's, let's, let's work together let's do a slipstream let's do a slipstream slingshot on Charles diba tara Checo gawin natin yan so si Checo mukhang ha huh? totoo ba to oh yung mas kita tequila that I had last night I don't know diba? nabigla siya gano'n yun eh Ah, uh, Clifford John Tortona, hello, welcome to the show. Thank you for dropping oh, by. Uh, Shaira, agree with Andrew, di maganda execution na Red Bull. Yep. So, yun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Because yeah. ganito, um, um, Max already said sa team na let's work together, let's get him, actually. So, he was expecting um Sergio uh, Perez to have a good pace na pwede niyang pwedeng sumunod kay Max. However, yun nga ang nangyari, sitting duck siya sa sa kotse na itong kay, sa Ferrari ni Charles Leclerc. That's why hindi na pansin ni Max na masyado na pala siyang malayo. He gained at least 5 seconds from Sergio Perez. Kaya sinabihan siya ni GP na Max pwedeng atras ka konti para ma matulungan natin wow. si Perez. Actually, for the first time then, we saw Max Verstappen gave gave in to that request of GP. Umatras siya. So from 5 seconds, he went down to at least mga almost 2 seconds na lang na gap niya between ano. Kaya dito makikita mo ah uh, ayun si Max Verstappen Masyado na siyang malapit eh, di ba? That's not 5 seconds na. Uh, parang nasa almost 2 na ito na. Two. na yeah. Almost 3. Uh, 2 seconds. Almost three. Three. Uh, ayan, ayan. 1 or 1. Yeah, almost That's 1.8. No. Oh. Ah, yeah. 1.8. Oh, bumaba talaga si, si, si Max. Hmm. Uh, so, Max Verstappen, well, anyway, na, world champion na siya. Pero at least... We saw him as a team player for the first time. Yeah, first so, time. Yeah. Max, 
nagkaroon na ng uh, maturity, yeah. Maturity and then I think he's not taking his teammate for granted na na ano, pero imagine um Sergio Perez had brand new hard tires compared to the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc pero nakuha pa din siya ni Charles. So imagine what would have been if during the second safety car they pitted Charles, di ba? Mm-hmm. Sayang. So anyway, Sayang. Yeah. Uh, kudos to Charles. He made it to P2. P2 um, Max Verstappen, of course, um, from from being mainiti ng ulo sa buong Las Vegas um, uh, race, tapos nung nanalo siya, ba, for the first time, nag-smile din itong si Max kasi talagang mainit na talaga ulo niya. Sabi niya, we look like clowns. Kasi pag America, you you are presented like, di ba, parang boxing or football entry, parang ganun ang dating. So, medyo cringy yan sa mga... Yeah, medyo cringy, cringy yan sa mga Europeans. Hindi sila sanay sa mga ganyan. So, well. Anyway, uh, congratulations to the top three for the first ever Las Vegas Grand Prix after 40 years. So, yun. 40 years. Uh, wow. Max Verstappen, nanalo. Then we have P2, uh, Charles Leclerc, Sergio Perez, Esteban Ocon. Yeah, ito yung sabi ni Shaira. He started 17th. He finished 4th. Gasly started mm-hmm. fifth. He finished uh, 14 yata. So, nagpalit sila. And then, we see here, top five, Lance Stroll, who started, uh, sa, na, 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 natanggal na siya sa Q2. Uh, Fernando Alonso was in the top 10. So, nag-change na naman sila. Nagpalit sila. Si Alonso nasa nine. Siya nasa fifth. So, congratulations to these guys. Carlos Sainz, even after the 10 grid penalty, yeah. he was able to take Impressive. six. Then Lewis Hamilton, George Russell, Fernando Alonso, and at least nagkaroon ng points ang McLaren with Oscar Piastri's 10th position. Yeah, George Russell and, finished at 4th pala. As, as saglit, yeah. George Russell finished at 4th. Uh, he was able to to overtake uh, Esteban Ocon. Penalty, However, because of the penalty. Yeah. yeah. May penalty siya na 5 seconds. Yeah. Now, eto Max Verstappen, hindi na talaga natin matibag because may gold na dyan. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, champion na siya. Pero, Sergio Perez was able to cement the lead from Lewis Hamilton. So, it's mathematically impossible, impossible na yeah. for Lewis Hamilton to take uh, the, the runner-up for the Drivers' Championship. So, congratulations. <clears throat> Checko, my boy. Buti na lang. <laughs> and Abu Dhabi. After this, the last race of the season, we have Abu Dhabi. Uh, yes, Marina for 24 to 26 November. Yep. All right. All right. So, Saglit, before we ah, go sh- to our... No? Yeah. Uh, Ronnie wait, James. Wait, 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 for those who just joined us, aside from the shell shell giveaways, we will also be giving away limited edition yeah. uh, the Purple Sector Cups. Yes, we have four designs. So, dun sa mga kaka-join lang ngayon, uh, we have this. Yun. And of course, this one. Special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yam. Okay, but make sure, natin. make sure. Oh, yam. Make sure the yam analysis cap. Dapat firma do mo. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> collector's <laughs> item. Yeah. All right. Collector's Before, item. Yeah. Before we go to Carlos Sainz, ano muna tayo? Uh, Carl Conrad, Sainz, uh, Sainz versus Alonso, two Spanish drivers mag kaka alaman sa Abu Dhabi yeah mm. uh, most probably that'll be interesting yeah 
Uh, Ronin James Sompok, yes, first one two. Tama ba? First one two ng Red Bull drivers for championships, I think, because Lewis Hamilton has always been a second up ever since um, Max Verstappen became world drivers champion. Uh, Jens Kadianza, yeah, the Bruce Buffer, check a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Carl, uh, okay. Ferrari, uh, ano pa ba uh, para before, yes. All right. Before we before we proceed with the question and answer, baka pwede natin pakinggan si Carlos Sainz. Carlos Sainz. All right. Yes. Stand by. For me, I had always dreamed about being a Formula One Ferrari driver. The day I walked in the first day as a, as a worker in Ferrari, you know, it, it was just something that felt a bit unreal. There is a mix of pride and responsibility. You need to keep challenging uh, everyone around you, yourself, to keep making the, the car and the team stronger. And I see this drive and motivation inside Ferrari right now. have our challenges inside the sport and some years you have more than others but uh, there's always something impeding you probably my first years in Formula 1 I was too switched on too tense thinking too much you'll normally the bad day if it's not my fault I'm super angry uh, because I feel frustrated that there's something out of my control but then the day after it's easy. I, I put it behind. It's the days where you make a mistake that they, they stay on you for a bit longer, no? And, and it's where you need to have the capacity to analyze, to digest it, and then to put it behind. There's that tilt feeling always when you do a mistake because you are part of uh, more than a thousand people, you know, creating the car, creating the masterpiece, you know, that we get to drive every day. Even nowadays, you know, even days that you wake up with maybe not so happy about whatever is going on in your life, I always try to remind myself that I'm a Ferrari driver, driving for Ferrari uh, in Formula One, and I've achieved my dream, and this puts me immediately back into a great, uh, into a great day uh, mindset. So, Carl, yes, Mexico. Hindi pa ba nabigay siya yung toolkit na yun? We'll check. We'll check, Carl. But I guess you already have received the other toolkit with the stickers, right? Tama ba? I send you a toolkit. PM nyo lang, Carl. If there, if there would be any, ano, Carl, PM nyo na lang kami. Yeah. Any concerns, PM Ad lang. Admin. PM lang. Admin na lang. Admin namin ng bahala. Sa yep. All right. Um... Andy, are we going to go for right. that? Uh, Yam, we have four questions. Oh. Tama ba? Okay, Jong. Patingin ko lang muna isa sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. From right. Indonesia. Salamat malam kay Clifford John Tortona. Right. He right. is watching us. Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia. Today is... Good evening. Yes. Salamat malam. Yeah. <laughs> No, very good. All so, right. Okay. Um, um, before, before, no, Jong, um, this will be our second to the last episode. Yep. I said this will be the second to the last race for F1. So, um, it's safe to say na 
See you next year. Meron pa rin the purple year. sector next year. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Next season. Yes. Um, we'll and we'll bring, do... we will be bringing you more. We will be bringing you mm. more next year. So stay yeah, tuned definitely. For that. Stay tuned okay. for that one. Parang, we, um, we will also try to do some, kung kaya ng logistics wise, we would do watch alongs with you. Kung pwede ba? We could try to do that. We could have, basta, We'll try to be. We'll try to engage more F1 fans to the show. We'll engage with you more. Mm. So. And also before, ano, maraming pasalamat, pasalamat sa mga sumuporta sa atin from last year pa or two years ago. Two years maraming ago, pa yeah. Thank you so much for so, for you know. Started it. Uh, Thank you long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So give away so, time. Wait, we're giving out four, right? We're giving out four. Mm. So maybe for a change, we're not gonna give out tools uh, a tool set na lang. O ano ba? Ano bang pwede? Yeah, ano sa tingin mo? Okay, sige. I think we'll just give the caps. Bigay, bigay tayo ng tool set dalawa. Hindi, tapos hindi. bigay tayo ng dalawang caps. Pama? Hindi. Uh, pwede ganon. Let's give one cup for each question. Let's give one Pwede. cup for okay. each question. Sige, and for a change, I think majority of the guys right here already received a tool set. So, tingnan natin. Eh, kayo. Sige, sige. Pwede, pwede. Itong cups apat. Cups na lang muna. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. just... We're just pwede, jong, jong. A... Since, uh, since we will be giving away our uh, ano, items... <laughs> So one cup plus yung one set of stickers. Uh, purple sector stickers. Yeah, yeah. Apat yan, apat na yeah. designs yan. So ganun, one cup plus four sets of uh, uh, stickers para at least masaya, para at least marami kayong matanggap. The yep. stickers are um, outdoor stickers. Uh, it's good sa sa car nyo, it's good sa laptops, even yeah. even your luggages para at least Malayo pa lang sa carousel, makita nyo na yung bagahe ninyo kasi <laughs> if you're kayo lang ang traveling. Meron ka Pati uh, water bottle. Really traveler, water bottle, pwede. So, yun. So, soon, soon. one cup plus, uh, one cup plus uh, a set of purple sector stickers. Ano sana may cash price. Sana may cash price. Sana. May cash price? Ah, sana. <laughs> sana. <laughs> Uh, Jens, Kadianza, Carl, yes, watch party. We're going to do a watch party, hopefully. Hopefully for that one. Carl, or... kung mag-sponsor ka ng cash prize for next season, Yan. kami magpaparapol. Paparapol namin. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Yam, which cup are you going to give first? Okay. We'll give this... Uh... Purple Sector XF1. SF1. Uh, Ayun. All right. Yes. Yan ang paborito mo actually. I like that huh? design particularly. Yan ang yeah. paborito ko na yung design. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yan, yan, like yan, pinili. yan, yan rin natin yung pinili ko. Yan ba yung pinili ko? Hindi. <laughs> yung isa. Yan, 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 yan ang gulong. Ay, yung gulong. Yeah. Ah. Well, anyway. Itong itong cup na to, Adol. Itong cup na ito. This is only available sa The Purple. Uh, hindi ito makikita sa Shopee. Kung may makita kayo sa Shopee nito, sumbong niyo sa amin. Copyright. <laughs> copyright. Copyright infringement yan. Di ba? So, Joey, Joey Barcelona, good evening. Sa advisor sticker. Yeah. Pwede. Tingnan natin. <laughs> Kung ano pwede. Alright. Andy, let's go with the first question. Okay. So, we have, ano, um, apat na tanong ba tayo tonight, gentlemen? Yeah, four, four. Okay, so we will we have four questions tonight. Uh, three of which is mga easy-ish no questions. The last question will be a little bit harder. My counting challenge at ayo. Um, uh, the last question. So give something for additional for the last question. Special, oh, yeah, we'll give additional. Guys, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Okay, so if everyone is ready, I will now post. The first question sa ating um, sa comment section. And here we go. Number one. Question number one for tonight. 
What year was the What first year? F1 race held in Las Vegas? Nandiyan yung answer, Andy. Mali na. Sorry. 1981. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Jens. Yeah, force, ma- Jens. Yeah, di, for, force majeure. <laughs> force majeure yan, Di. Sorry, okay lang. Wala ano, problema. Sorry, yeah. Wala yeah. problema. Wala problema. Okay. All right, Jens, Jens. You got it. You got it. 1991. Uh, 1981. All right. We'll Give, give this one to Jens Cadianza. Okay. Congratulations. Well, it's a race, No worries. No worries. We're giving out this one as well. So it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's be serious this time. Andy, question number two. Question number two. Palpak yeah. Napalpak yung first. This anyway, one. This, this one I love. Yeah, this one I love. Okay. Uh, okay. Which so, famous hotel two. served as the venue for F1 from 1981 to 1984? Las Vegas Hotel. Oh, huh? Which Las Vegas, hotel. famous Las Vegas Hotel served as the venue for F1 from okay. 1981 to 1984? Which hotel the in Las hotel Vegas? Cesar Spalas, ayun, Carl, finally. <laughs> so, Andy, Cesar Spalas, that's good, right? Yep. Ah, Carl. Yep. So, Carl yep. won. Congrats, wrong Carl. Spelling wrong. Yeah, yep. ano, Cesar. Wrong spelling wrong. Hey, hey. Wrong spelling wrong ba? <laughs> Cesar Spalas. Lea, pagbigyan na natin. Hindi, nauna si Carl. Pagbigyan na natin. Yeah. Yan, nauna si Carl. congratulations. Congratulations. Nakuha mong answer. Carl, you're the new proud owner of an exclusive cap. Actually, the only one in existence as of this moment. Mayor pa yan. Eh, paano naman kasi supplier? Ang tagal. Mumus, mumus, Dapat kasi kay Jong yan. Okay, third question. Okay, third question. Pa, pa, anong premyo? Ayun, yung bibulong. Yeah, yan ang favorite ko. The time. Yan ang favorite ko. That's my, my, my design. Na. My favorite design. Okay. Andy. Okay, third question. Ready? Okay, question number... Green shot dan, orang orang live sailing si Yambo ya. What is the total length of the modern Las Vegas Grand Prix circuit? Complete ha? In kilometer Andy? In kilometers po? In kilometers, okay. In kilometers. Di nasa US man dapat miles. Ah, Andy? Yes. Adrian Chandra Rodriguez, tama? 6.201 ang bilis. Okay, Perfect. Adrian Chad, you got a new nice cap. One, Congrats. Congratulations, Adrian Chad Rodriguez. You are uh, the new proud owner of a okay, okay. purple sector truck. Pwede, pwede, okay, pwede yung know. fourth question ako magbigay. Sige, pwede, pwede, ako magbigay. Pwede, pwede. Yung makapi, uh-huh. di ba yan? May, no, 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 no. may sariling question it's, ka. It's, it's a, may sariling akong question. Sige. Kasi ah, anyway, sige. I will be giving... I will yeah. be giving okay, okay, okay. Sige. I have analysis cap. So, para ma-analyze talaga sign. natin, ha? We will analyze sign, this together. Sign. Yeah. Sige. Let's Go. try. Okay? Photograph din na. Sige. <laughs> ano pa, ano listen, pa ibang kasama ng listen. yung analysis? Yam, i-type mo yan. Hindi mo i-type? Hindi ako... Ano pa ibang premyo kasama nung cup? Okay, okay, okay. Pwede, pwede, pwede. Sige, ano pwede, ibang premyo kasama nung cup? Yan, mahirap ba tong question mo? <laughs> medyo. Medyo. Ah. Kasi wala ito sa ano eh. Uh, this is regarding the race pa din, pero wala sa commentary, wala... Basta, ah, okay. Wala sa Google. Okay. Sige. <laughs> Yan, pakiano lang ah. Pakisulat ko ano ang desired answer. correct answer. Mm-hmm. Nag-type How big is the F1 sphere? Oh. <laughs> it's not F1 sphere. It's the Las Vegas sphere. 
Alas Vegas. Okay, sorry sorry. <laughs> Do na concert ang U2 jo. Yeah. Mm. When I was there last April so, under construction pa yun eh. So. Nagpakilala nga si Bono na siya daw si Daniel Ricardo. Okay. Ready, ready? Ano eh post mo dito ah. Okay ha. Yeah, yeah, Go. yeah. Go. Okay, I will be posting it now. Ah, teka. Okay, why do you think the Las Vegas GP was done on a Saturday at 10 p.m. American time? Ay, essay type. Ay, essay type. Ay, oh. oh. essay type yan. Yeah. Essay type yan. Yeah. Eh. Why do you think? You can, yeah, yeah, you can answer. You can answer in Tagalog or English, uh, any way you want. Basta, Sige, in Tagalog. Why do you think? Bakit? Yeah. Why do you think the Las Vegas GP was done on a Saturday at 10 p.m. Las Vegas time? American time. Yan ang gusto ko malaman. Para at least... Oh, yun. May clue doon. May clue doon. Because we... Okay, the owner. Pero yan, ikaw, alam mo. For seven years. Yam, alam mo. Ha? Alam mo, di ba? Yes. Okay. I know. I think this is one of the first... Ayun. Yam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jens Kadianza. Jens Kadianza. Perfect. Correct. Hey! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you know galeng. Uh, very good. Very Jens, good, Jens. Are, I mean, you are uh, a analysis, I know. <laughs> dahil, sa, dahil sa time difference between Las Vegas and, of course, the European fans, or I think majority of the fan base of F1. Kasi F1 is not for Americans alone. F1 is for the whole world, di ba? <laughs> Pero they, they wait kung anong oras natin pwede i-present ang karera na majority of our fans can watch the F1 Las Vegas. Kasi, first of all, unang-unang karera after 40 years, they they did a, a very good show. They gave us a very good race. So, tama. Uh, Jens Kadianza for Eurofans. And not only for Eurofans, pero it's all over the world. It's on a Sunday, early in the morning sa, sa, sa Europe. Great Britain, sa UK. And then, middle of the day sa other parts of Europe and of course 2 p.m. sa Pilipinas sa Singapore uh, 3 p.m. sa Japan sa Korea so we really enjoyed we really enjoyed the the ano the, the race so congratulations Jens yeah. yeah. ito si Carl reklamo mga European fan, yeah. fans if actually, they will watch na madaling araw uh -huh. ito Carl actually because, yung, uh, actually yung, hindi ako nari pa yung... I was Bakit? I was on duty during that time. Kaya bawa ko nung Sunday. Oh yeah. Actually, okay. um, three hours before the the race, uh, I think that was around 11, 10:30, ng umaga sa atin. Sino nga yung ano yung host ng Sky Sports when he is in the pit area? Who's that kind of chubby guy? Ted. Uh, Ted, Ted Kravitz. Ted Kravitz, yeah. He mentioned that actually mm. three hours before why they did the F1 on a Saturday and ano. Uh, so, yun yun. I think sinabi niya is because for the European fans and for the, yeah, because majority is Europe. For the rest of the world. Yeah. May championship po ba yung winners dito? <laughs> ah, <laughs> wala po. Pero, pero for sure, yeah, Ted. For sure, at the last, ano, at the last, uh, we might be giving out more on the Abu Dhabi. So stand by for that. I hope everyone who has been uh, been joining us uh, since uh, the, at the start of the season. So sana uh, nandun tayo lahat for the last episode this this coming Tuesday. So hopefully we'll be giving out a lot more or less. Yeah. Ayun. And so, then, uh, uh, John, just announce lang natin, yung mga 
uh, the purple sector uh, fans na taga Davao, uh, si Jong, ginagawa na niya ngayon yung bar. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, we have, we have live, uh, we yeah, have live, live, viewing. Uh, live viewing na for next yeah. year. Doing so, party. Yeah. And you can also visit the official TPS, uh, the Purple Sector Studio. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Ginawa ng, ginawa ng tourism yung, ano, yung studio. <laughs> Pwede magpa-picture dyan. Ah, uh, yeah. Pwede kayo pumunta dito. Just the shot there at the back. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much. There you go. So, before we go, Andy. Yes, thank you sa lahat ng uh, sumali sa ating show tonight. Thank you everyone for joining us. Um, thank you for, well, watching the show tonight or on a delayed, um, whenever you watch this show, still thank you um, for being with us um, for tonight, for this episode, for the last, what, two years na, di ba? Three. Two years, is, we've, been, mm-hmm. we've been doing this for two years now. Thank you for supporting the show, um, which... Um, Whichever way you can, just even just by watching us, clicking like, share, telling your friends about it. Really, we appreciate everything that um, you guys have done for us uh, this um, thus far. And we look forward to the last race of this year, Abu Dhabi. And the, of course, the last uh, um, live session for the Purple Sector for this year. And uh, yes, we will see you all next year and this show will be bigger. It will yep. be better. Yep. And there will be so much more in stuff for you guys. We cannot wait to share everything with you. So once again, like, share, comment, subscribe, lahat ng gawin nyo. Go ahead. <laughs> all the words. Tell everyone you know, tell every F1 fan you know that we have this show for you, for all of us, mga F- Pinoy F1 fans. This is our show. And, um, well, as far as I know, no one else is doing this. So, yeah, come on in. Yep. This is our show. We're, we're making it better and better for you every day. Well, not every day, but every time. Every now, time now, we have, we yeah. We well said, well said. For you. All right. We, of course, with the, uh, no, with the feedback from our um, from our fans. No? So, because, yes, we do get a lot of feedback. And we thank everyone for that. So once again, just to wrap it up, thank you everyone for watching tonight. We will see you again after the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Grand Prix. All right. Miles? Parang sinabi na ata lahat ni Andy eh. <laughs> Saka parang, di, meron pa tayo isang pang episode. Parang, parang gusto mo na magpahalam. But anyway, yun na nga. Um, just like Andy, I'd like to express my deep gratitude to everyone who have joined us. But anyway, um, don't worry, we might um, post, we might have post uh, season episodes, diba? There might be some exciting news or anything yeah, that yeah. might come up. Diba? And also, maybe next year, um, baka magkakaroon tayo ng episodes before the races, before the season actually starts, diba? We could talk about uh, winter testing or uh, rather testing but anyway um this has been a uh, good night with you guys nice to be back again after how many sessions that i was absent um thank you for joining us and see you guys next time all right yum all right okay thank you very much for joining us tonight i uh I hope you learned something, and if not, I hope you were entertained. Congratulations to the winners of the limited, super, super limited as of the moment, <laughs> na mga giveaways ng the purple sector. And then, uh, yeah, uh, we 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 promise to have a better show next year, even though we have um, we have at least. Uh, Meron pang isang karera to discuss, but uh, ngayon we are really, really excited to share to you that the purple sector will still be uh, around for 2024 season. 
And then after the Abu Dhabi uh, Grand Prix, sabay-sabay naman din tayong maghintay ng <laughs> Habang malulungkot antayan. na Pasko. Yes. Yes. <laughs> malulungkot na Pasko, <laughs> New Year, ano pa ba? Uh, Valentine's Day, oh, yun, wala tayong F1 doon. Pero anyway, uh, we are just really very excited to announce to you na dyan pa din kami next year and uh, Mas marami tayong activities for yes, you guys. Yes, definitely. So thank you very much. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. See you next week. Sinabi na nila lahat. And tell your friends about it. Or tell your fellow F1 fans about it. Uh, about the show. So, see you next week. Sana nandun tayo lahat. All of our, ano, all of our winners. And not only that. Uh, see you on the last episode. We, we might be giving out more. We never know. So, yun. Uh, Yamboy, Andy, and Miles, thank you so much for having a good, you know, rounds of talk about the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix. So, gents, see you again next Tuesday. And that's it. Bye for now. And good night. See you. Good night.